this is the question of uh, 2017 2017 uh, and it is october november session and the paper is uh, 1 1 and question number 14. so it says uh, a motorized vehicle for carrying one person so the vehicle has two wheels on one axle the front wheel is seen here and the back wheel is not seen the passenger stands on a platform between the wheels so here is the platform the weight of the machine is 600 newton and its center of mass is 200 millimeter in front of the axle so its weight acts 200 millimeter in front of the axle so this distance is from here to here the distance is 200 millimeter and the uh, radius of the wheel is a uh, 400 millimeter as shown here when stationary the uh, a passenger of weight 600 newton stands with its uh, center of mass 200 millimeter behind the axle to balance the machine so this distance is also is also 200 millimeter so when the person stands at uh, this much distance uh, away in such a way that uh, uh, his or her center of mass is uh, this much distance away from the axle then it will be balanced now the motor is now switched on to provide a horizontal force of 90 newton at the ground to move the vehicle forward so if the vehicle is to be moved forward the motor has to create some sort of force in such a way that the earth will exert an a force on the vehicle plus person so that it moves forward so we can show this with this diagram here let me uh, show this diagram so this is the enlarged form of the wheel the wheel here so enlarged form of the wheel so we have this is the axle of the wheel uh, this is the uh, line of action of the center of the mass of the machine so this distance is 200 millimeter and this is the line of action of the center of mass of the person and this distance is 200 millimeter now when the uh, motor is operated the ground will exert a force like this on the wheel so that the wheel rotates like this so if the ground exerts the force in this direction in this direction the wheel will rotate like this and go forward so that means if this is the axle and this is the force and if this is the distance of 400 millimeter this force is creating an anti-clockwise torque so this force is creating an anti-clockwise torque so previously we had clockwise torque from this force anti-clockwise torque from this force and this force is adding on the anti-clockwise torque so let let us calculate this uh, torque here so the torque created by this force is so additional torque let us write here additional torque additional additional anti-clockwise torque so let us write here anti-clockwise anti-clockwise torque let us say tau prime is equal to f applied by ground on the wheel into the radius which is a 400 millimeter so it's equal to this force is a 90 newton 90 newton into 400 millimeter so now what must do is now let us see this part of the question how far and in which direction must the passenger move his uh, center of mass to uh, maintain balance so that means the person has to move here or there so now since we have additional since we have additional anti-clockwise torque this person must do something to reduce the anti-clockwise torque since there is addition here he must do something to reduce it so he has to shift slightly here such that his uh, center of mass will be going like this will be going like this and let us say this is the shift is x so he has to reduce his uh, uh, reduce his uh, torque in such a way that this reduction is equal to this increase so let's say this additional torque is uh, nine uh, additional torque is equal to 90 newton into 400 millimeter so he has to reduce this much torque 
and his mass is 600, weight is 600 newton, so CD is 600 newton into this distance. So this is an increase in anticlockwise torque. This should be the decrease in anticlockwise torque so that the system is in balance. So this gives us x is equal to, we can cancel this uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it is a 6, 90 here. So it is a 90 newton into 4 millimeter divided 6 newton, 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 4, 2, this is 3, this is, this is 30. So it's equal to 60 millimeter, 60 millimeter towards the axle, which means it is 60 millimeter forward. So the person has to lean 60 millimeter forward if he has to maintain the balance while the machine, the motorized vehicle moves forward.